Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86 and today I'm taking a look at Jovel's projector. The projector is aesthetically pleasing, but not particularly outstanding. It kind of reminds me of something early Apple when you look at it. And while it looks like it might be heavy, it's actually not at only about three pounds. It is perforated metal aluminum all the way around the sides, and it does have a blower style fan and an exhaust PWM style fan on it. The projector does feature LCD technology instead of the standard DLP chip we might expect to see at something around this price range. And it features the RK3036 SoC, which does feature some pretty nice things such as video encoding for uh, H.264 and I think H.265. It does MP4, H.264 and MP4 is MP2. You can do this at 1080p at 30 frames per second or 30 hertz. On the back we do have the DC input, the USB input, which is just a 2.0 USB input that you can play some things off of. We also have the HDMI input, which is H HDMI 1.4a. We have an audio jack and the IR bulb for the ability for it to detect IR from the remote. Something worth noting is the only real button on this projector too is the power button. So you're kind of at the mercy of the remote. There's no manual focus installed on the projector. There's no uh, menu control ability on the projector so you're again kind of at the mercy of the remote and that's not something I'm necessarily a big fan of. The weird shape of it does make it a little awkward if you decide to hang it from the ceiling. It can invert and rotate the image. It can also do rear projection but the the odd shape of kind of looking like some some sort of Mac computer is is a little bit it's different it's different that's that's for sure. The three watt speakers are louder than typical speakers that you might come across on most projectors and while they can get louder, they don't necessarily sound better. With no Bluetooth on the projector, the main option you have is to go 3.5 out from the projector to a speaker. And if I didn't cover it, while it looks like it might be a portable projector, there is no battery inside of it. It has to take direct current power from the wall, from an outlet, uh, in order to power and be on. Now, it does come with a portable bag that may kind of make it easier if you're in a small office setting to just kind of pull it out of this bag, go from conference room to conference room, set it up, and, and be able to play. As far as the image brightness goes, it, it actually does an alright job. It's, it's not terrible. It's about 100 ANSI. That, that's a pretty standard measurement of, of lumen rating. It's not some fudged number that they've come up with to just say it's, you know, a million LED brightness by our factory calculations. So it's not extremely bright, but it does look pretty nice when, when you're watching on it. And I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the image that I was getting from it. So that's pretty cool. With the biggest downside just being, it's a bit dim. Beautiful looking picture, albeit a little bit dim. It becomes easy to wash it out at that point with some simple lighting in the room. Uh, to kind of take away from the projection even when you're only projecting at about 43 inches. The LCD technology also really diminishes the ability to detect screen door. So you get this nice kind of really clear clean image at 1080p and when you get up close it's pretty difficult to detect that there's any kind of screen door going on with it at all. You can do screen mirroring with it if you plug direct in with an iOS device you're able to stream from the iOS device on there or you can go wireless with an Android device and just share your image onto the screen. Now from the source it is a fully sealed optical engine which essentially just means that it's extra protected against things like dust and deterioration build up inside of it so that your projection image will last for a longer amount of time. Anyways guys I hope this was somewhat helpful and I hope you have a great day night whatever it is I'll see you in the next video that I do.